Hello everyone, this is Sahana here with the topic sex determination in plants. So, sexually reproducing plant species may be sexually monomorphic or sexually polymorphic. So, what is the difference between the monomorphic plants and polymorphic plants? So, in sexually monomorphic condition or in sexually monomorphic plants, individual plants have both the sexes in them. Uh, it can be present uh, like these uh, sexes can be present within single flower as can be found in uh, hermaphrodite flowers or hermaphrodite plants or they are present in separate male and female flowers of a same plant which is called monoecious flowers. A minority of plant species are sexually polymorphic. Uh, which includes dioecious species as well. So here dioecious species are the ones that show animal-like sexual dimorphism with two different plants that is a female plant and male plant. So here the female plant bears unisexual flowers that contain only female reproductive organs that is carpels and the male uh, plants bear unisexual flowers or male flowers which contain male reproductive organs or stamens. Here, many dioecious plants have a non-identical pair of chromosomes, which is associated with the determination of sex of the progeny. Of the species with non-identical sex chromosome, a large proportion is found to have XY system or XY type of sex determination. Uh, to take an example, there is a dioecious plant called Melantrium album, which has um, chromosome 22. All right, there are 22 chromosomes in diploid condition per cell. So here, of this 22 chromosomes, 20 of them are autosomes, which are somatic chromosomes, and the two cro uh, two chromosomes are called allosomes, which are sex chromosomes, and these allosomes are. XX in case of females and XY in case of males. That is how it is chromosomal basis of sex determination. Now, just like any other trait or character, sex is also a character with two alternatives, namely male, maleness and femaleness. Now here the male produces sperm or pollen and the female produces the egg. So here these two individuals differ in sex organs. That is the male uh, have sex organs as stamens and the female have carpels. And it also differs in several secondary sexual characters, which means the differences between the sexes that is in structure other than the sex organs. All right, uh, like morphologically, they will be different. So it has so, so much of differences in them. And when these two gametes fuse or get fertilized and produce the zygote these zygote can be either male or female now the development of zygote into male or female can be defined as sex determination so here sex can be uh, determined by various factors such as environmental factors in certain species there are chromosomes that actually determines the sex in uh, species of plants and there are hormones, metabolism, parasites. These are the factors that actually determine the sex in plants. In majority of dioecious organisms, the most common form of sex determining mechanism is chromosomal, which is caused by differences between two types of sex chromosome, that is X and Y, as discussed earlier. Now, Going to the sex determination in higher plants, it is just a, determined as per the theory of heterogamesis. Heterogamesis, as the name says, gamesis, hetero, different gamete formation, all right? So, whenever there is two different gametes that is being produced, so that actually det determines the sex of an individual. The one which produces the same gametes will not have any part in determining the sex of the progeny, but the one which actually has the different gametes in them will actually determine the sex in progenies. So here this theory was proposed by Correns in the year 1906. So according to this theory, only one sex, either the male or the female, is heterogametic and the other one will be homogametic with 
two same or similar gametes being formed. So this type of sex determination have three types here. XX, XY type, which is found in most of the angiosperms. And then XZZ, ZW type, which is uh, absorbed in strawberries. And then XX, XO type is there, which is absorbed in yam. So XS, XY type can simply be defined as female homogametic and male heterogametic. So this itself says female is producing two similar gametes and male is producing two different gametes, which means female has two same chromosomes, that is two same sex chromosomes and then male have two different sex chromosomes or allosomes. So this was first studied in milkweed bug ligase. All right. So in this type of sex determination, the female is sexually homozygous or it can also be called as homogametic which have two X chromosomes in them. While the male is sexually heterozygous or heterogametic having two different sex chromosome that is X and Y. So here the female, since it is a homogametic, it can only produce one type of egg, each carrying X chromosome along with the autosome. So this is the genetic constitution. A plus X denotes the genetic constitution of the female egg here. And since male is a heterogametic here, it produces two different types of pollen grains, one carrying X chromosome along with autosomes and the other type that carry Y chromosome along with the autosomes here. So whenever the egg is fertilized by a pollen grain with X chromosome, that will result in female. And whenever the egg is fertilized by pollen uh, which is which has a Y chromosome in it will result in a male. So here in XX XY type to understand better this is just a cross. So here what actually happens is the heterogamesis type of theory this follows sex determination. All right. So here the male is heterogametic. So the male determines the sex of the progeny while female has no uh, part in determining the progeny's sex here. So here, this is the autosomes. In angiosperm, the diploid uh, number of autosomes or the autosomal number in diploid condition varies from plant to plant. So we have taken it A and A, this is diploid. And then there are two X chromosomes or two X or allosomes here in female. This uh, produces the gametes of same type here, that is A plus X. And here, the male being heterogametic, this produces two different sex chromosomes, all right? So, one of them goes to the gamete and the other one goes to the other gamete. So, here, two different types of gametes that is being produced or in uh, simple words, two different pollen grains are being produced here and there is only one type of egg that is produced by female. And whenever X type of pollen fertilizes the egg, there is formation of female progenies and whenever there is a fertilization happening by Y type of pollen grain, then there is, pro, uh, there is a progeny with the genetic constitution XY, which is a male. Now, this is the second type, ZZZW type, which means female heterogametic and male homogametic type, which is just opposite to the previous one, XXXY type. So in this type of sex determination, the female is sexually heterozygous, all right, or sexually heterogametic, having two different type of chromosomes, that is Z and W. Uh, while in the other hand, the male is sexually homogametic, which have two similar or two same chromosome that is Z. So what happens is the male pol, um, the male plant produces similar type of pollen grains here, each having Z chromosome in them, while the female produces two different types of egg. The one with the Z chromosome is called Z type and the one with the W chromosome is called as W type. And when these gets fertilized, when Z type of egg is getting fertilized, the resulting progeny will be male and 
whenever W type of egg is getting fertilized, the progeny resulted is female. So, as I said, female produces two types of egg. Along with autosomes, this is the genetic constitution A plus Z. And then the other type, the W type of egg can be represented by the genetic constitution A plus W. Uh, and the male produces only one type of pollen grain with Z chromosome. And this is the genetic constitu constitution of the pollen along with the autosomes here. So, in ZZ, ZW type, female gametes are the determinants of the sex so male has nothing to do with the determination of sex of the progeny only the female de uh, determines the sex of the progenies that is being produced so the example is fragaria which is a wild strawberry plant so here male is homogametic producing a same type of pollens here female is heterogametic producing two different uh, two different types of uh, gametes or eggs so here x uh, z chromosome and w chromosome whenever z type of egg gets fertilized there is formation of male and then whenever w type of egg is getting fertilized there is formation of female progenies now this is the last type xxxo type just similar to the first type whatever we studied that is xxxy type uh, even here it is female homogametic and male heterogametic type but what happens here is the female produce only one type of egg all right that is the the gamete carrying x chromosome here along with the autosomes but the male produces two types of pollen again since male is heterogametic right so this produces two different types of pollen one carries x chromosome along with the autosomes and the other type carries only autosome that is why it is o all right so whenever there is absence of sex chromosome it is described by a o so here there are two types of pollen that is being produced and then there are single type of egg that is being produced. Whenever the pollen of the X type fertilizes the egg, then that results in a female progeny while the pollen with O type, which means there is no sex chromosome in them. When that type of pollen fertilizes the egg, that results in the male progeny. So, this is usually found in the species of Dioscoria or different species of Dioscoria show sex exco type of uh, sex determination. So here these are the autosomes. Uh, in Dioscoria, the autosomal number can differ from uh, 20 to 60. So there are different species and each have different autosomal number. And here the male has XO type of sex or uh, sex chromosomes and female has xx sex chromosome and as a result what is happening here the male produces two different types of pollen and female produces single type of egg here and whenever the x type of pollen fertilizes the egg then there is formation of female progenies and whenever O type of male or O type of pollen fertilizes the egg, then that result, uh, there is a resultant of male progenies here. Alright, so this is the sex determination in Dioscoria. So that was about sex determination in plants.